Hey guys, so I'm going to do a yoga flow for sleep using my um, yoga guide. Um, you can download it, it's just on iPad, but we will get started. Susie's here as well. So we're going to start off seated, just sitting nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath, inhale through the belly. And as you exhale, just notice the shoulders relax and imagine you're being pulled from the crown of the head. First pose we're going to come into is cow face pose. Um, I'll only do one side because otherwise the video will be really long. But we're going to lift the arms, opposite arms. And if you can't hook um, your hands at the back, just grabbing on with your top. And take a breath. You can sit with your legs closed like this, or you can link the legs over for the extra stretch. So take a breath, feel free to close the eyes. Remember to do both sides. Next pose, a little spine twist, which is good for our digestive system. So this is perfect to do before bed. Sit nice and tall, we're going to place opposite hand on opposite knee and this back hand is going to be used as a prop. And we're slowly going to rotate to the side. Remember to breathe, inhaling through the belly and exhale to let go. Our next pose, bound angle. Soles of the feet come together, we're going to sit nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath and as we exhale, we're gradually going to walk the hands forward. Maybe if you found your comfortable spot, take another inhale and notice on your exhale how far you can hinge. If your feet are closer towards you together, harder it's going to be. The further your feet are away from your body, the easier the stretch is going to be. Doesn't matter how far you bend, just breathe and very slowly on your inhale come back up next pose cat cow so coming onto all fours a nice tabletop position slightly bend the elbows if you hyper extend we're going to inhale to lift the head chest neck take a nice inhale and as we exhale we're going to curl the head down shoulders round navel draws towards spine into cat pose now just find, find your flow as you lift and curl into cow and into cat and breathe as you go. Next pose is child's pose, so bottom comes back towards the heels, arms reach out in front. If you've got tight shoulders, heads can rest on hands and just breathe. If you've got your arms extended, really focus on walking the hands away as the bottom moves back towards the heel, so you're elongating the whole spine. And remember to breathe nice and evenly through this pose. Next, we're coming on to all fours. Remember, I'm only speeding this up, but you can take this at your own pace. Hands are gonna come onto the back for level one, and we're gonna slowly hinge back, maybe take a little back bend here, but using the hands for support. If you feel free to come in, feel free to come into a full camel. So that is taking a full back bend, hands are resting on the feet, like so, or they're all the way down. So that's your camel pose. Remember to protect your back. If you don't feel like you can go to a full camel pose, stick to this position. Next pose, downward facing dog. So tucking the toes under. Taking a nice bend in the knees if your hamstrings are tight, pushing through the hands. Relax the shoulders back and down and gazes towards the knees. Breathe nice and deeply. This pose can feel quite strange to begin with, but breathe through it. Next pose, stuff pose. Legs come out in front. Sit in nice and tall, relax the shoulders back and down and think about being pulled from the crown of the head. Engage the thigh muscles, toes are pointing upwards. You can even use the hands beside you and breathe. Next is boat pose, lifting the soles of the feet off to engage the core. Hands can stay behind the legs if you find it too much, or by the sides, or you can come into a full boat pose, but I even find that quite tricky. 
uh, next pose, Apanasma, which is knees to chest, a really nice pose. This flow, I've created it, so it's starting off quite intense, but working the body so that now we're gradually slowing down. So with knees to chest, it's quite nice to create circles and gently rock from side to side just to massage the whole back and breathe take a nice deep breath what's our next pose oh help if my ipad would work no we're doing so well oh, i hate technology sometimes next pose is bridge pose but this is a perfect transition for legs up the wall so we're going to take a nice deep breath walk the feet towards the bottom Palms by the sides facing down. We're going to inhale to lift up the pelvis up, roll up the spine. Bridge pose, engage your milabando, which is your pelvic floor. Block comes under to the small of your back and you're lifting the legs into the air. This does feel really nice if the block's in the right position. Take a nice breath. And then once you've finished here, exhale, legs come down nice and slowly. You've got to lift back up to bridge to remove the block to lower all the way back down, pelvis is last to touch. Straighten the legs, just have a nice stretch and breathe. Next pose, my two favorite poses. So we've got reclined tree or lying tree. Um, sole of the foot, depending on how flexible you are, can place on the opposite calf or on the opposite thigh. Um, if you're noticing that your knee is up in the air like this, grab your block, cushion, whatever you've got. You can even do this in bed and just prop it underneath your bent knee and take some nice deep breaths here. We're not in any rush. In yoga, we don't rush. And this is really helping to calm the whole body and induce that calming effect. So please don't rush. I'm only rushing through it because I've got a lot of information to tell you in a short space of time. Remember to do this on both sides. Next pose is reclined bound angle. I mean, this is my favourite pose of all time, I think. And um, soles of the feet come together, so you're creating a diamond shape in the gap. And again, if your knees are sticking up like this and it's too much, you don't want to put pressure on your back, especially your lower back. So use the pillows or the block. Um, if you only have one block, use a pillow on the other side. Just relax onto the block, really use the block and breathe. Once you've enjoyed reclined and um, bound angle for a little while, then straighten your legs out and come into Savasana. I like my palms facing up just to surrender, feet are hip width distance apart, and just relax the chin towards the chest. Breathe, inflate the belly, and as you exhale to relax. And you should find that you'll have a really peaceful night's sleep. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped. That was my little flow for sleep. All of it is in the guide, um, which is available via my website. I just thought it's really important for us to learn during this time that's causing us a lot of um, fear and anxiety. Maybe just some new yoga poses. And even if you've taken one of those poses from the video that you're going to use while you're in bed, that would have made my day. And I know that I've done my job to help you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was rushed, but um, I would rather do the poses quickly to get them all in and all the information um, so that you can try it yourselves in your own time. But thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. See ya.